Hi everyone, good morning. It's Ingrid Jansen from Organize Your House. How are you this morning? I am uh, doing another Facebook Live. I'm so excited. Um, and this time I'm going to be speaking about creating a donation station. Because a lot of my clients, when I walk around in their houses, they say, oh, that has to go, that can go to the charity shop. I don't want that any longer. But you can find all these items all over the house. And one of my first tasks normally is to create space somewhere where you can put all the stuff that needs to leave the house in one place. It can go maybe to the charity shop. It can go maybe something that has to be returned to a friend. It can be something that um, needs to uh, be thrown away. But let's put it in all in one place all together so it's just easier to manage. And if you, for example, decide to declutter on a Sunday and you finish at six o'clock, the charity shops are closed and you don't want to have items all over your house. So it's really important to find one space and it can be an under the stairs cupboard. It can be um, maybe some room in the garage. Maybe you have a spare bedroom where you've got a bit of space, um, but you want to create a space where you can put it all together. Also, um, what you don't want to do is create a whole hallway full of clutter and then it's a struggle that whole week to get in and out of your house. Unless you know the next day you have got time to load it in your car, to put it in your car boot, drive to a charity shop and um, actually um, donate it all. Then, of course, it's a great way to put everything in your hallway. But if you are in the middle of your project, you want somewhere to put it. Now, also, I think what I want to advise to you is to think in advance how you're going to transport your donations. Have you got some boxes that are going spare? Do you have a basket you can use to collect everything in? Have you got some different colored bin bags so you know what has to be thrown away, what can be recycled, what can be donated? So I use three different colored bags. I've got black bin bags for the, for the rubbish. I've got blue ones that I use for um, recycling and I've got green ones for the charity shop. So green recycle. So it kind of makes sense in my head actually to use a green colored bag. So all the donations for the charity shop go in there. Um, so that might be helpful as well to decide um, where and how you're going to declutter. So think about this before you actually start to um, work on your rooms or on your, in a certain area. Where is it going? Where am I going to keep it as long as I can't bring it to the charity shop just yet? And put it all together in one place. So I hope this was helpful. Um, just a little Monday morning. Uh, what's the day today? Wednesday morning tip today um, for you. And um, I hope it's helpful. See you next time. Ingrid Jansen, Organize Your House.